Okay, so let's begin. Uh, very nice to see you, uh, Boss Jason. Very nice to see you. So today I'm going to give you a demo visit to you to show our cool solution and features of Rege 3E. And my topic will be redefine your easy network. So uh, tell me, Boss, have you heard of Rege before? Uh, I heard about Rege, yes. Yes. So uh, actually, uh, Rigi is the top three networking vendor from China. Okay, right after Huawei and H H3C, and we are the number one Wi-Fi six product uh, 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 provider in 2019. Also, we won the number two in Chinese enterprise double market. Also, we are the number three in Ethernet switch. And if you look at the left. There is a magical quadrant from Gartner. Okay, so I'll tell you a lot of major vendors, networking vendors are listed. Okay, so here only the major vendors are studied by this uh, Gartner. And the Gartner is a top analysis unit from America. Okay, so you see here major vendors such as Cisco and Huawei and also our region. So tell you how to read this one. Okay, so usually if we go to the top and the right, top right means the, co the company, these vendors are more powerful. And if we go to the bottom left, so we are talking about smaller ones. So compared with the Euro, uh, Euro the, the, the common s and vendors such as TP-Link, such as D-Link, you can see here, okay? So they are more left bottom, okay? They are smaller ones. And the we region, we region networks, we are here, okay? Right after uh, vendors as Cisco, as Huawei, and HH3C, okay? So here is region. Actually, we are major, major vendor. And also uh, in these, these years, actually in domestic Chinese market, we beat uh, TP-Link in SMB market in every way. And now we start the international business, international SMB business. And I think this is a very good opportunity to cooperate with such a, such a major vendor, major player from China. And today I bring you these two cases uh, representing our sub-brand RE. And the uh, RE, the name comes from redefine your easy network. Okay, so here you miss the SMB, SI and installers. So RE is dedicated for SMB networking business. So both its solutions and its product, its products are for SMB business. And also by easy, we are a 100% cloud-based products all the way from solutions, from products. We use this cloud and the, the cloud app I'm just going to show you to demonstrate how easy you can do installation and also do maintenance from remotely saves time saves money of course we protect your projects and also we do not go public with our price so for i side we want to make money right so make whatever margin you want okay with our products so Today, I just bring you this suitcase and I'm going to show you all the things around, all right? And uh, uh, boss Jason, if possible, uh, please fix me an internet cable if possible, okay? So I just got these cables here. Okay, thank you, thank you, Jason. And I'm okay. going to stop the, the sharing and I'm going to show you the demo units within. Okay, so uh, boss Jason, can, can you, can you see the, the demo units? Yes. Okay, okay, so, so here we go. I'm going to briefly introduce uh, the, the uh, products within this suitcase. So here, by, uh, so here is the, the internet cable you just provided and it now is connected to our easy gateway, one of our router, okay, going access to the internet. And also we have a switch here, okay? It's a small one, but it's a cloud managed switch. And, and also the PoE one. Here are two APs, one sitting AP and one wall AP, okay? So using these uh, products, I'm going to demonstrate you a small but full package network, including the internet access, including WLAN and including LAN, okay? 
So uh, as I just mentioned, so all these devices, the configurations within are already reset, okay, are already reset without any pre, without any pre configuration, whatever. And also it's powered off. So now I'm going to demonstrate you. Now I'm going to do the power on and see how soon, how fast we can do this installation and configuration using our, our technology. Okay, speaking of fast, so we really provide a, a unique feature called the self-organizing network. That means after all cables are connected and powered up, so our devices will be able to discover each other automatically. All right. So after they discover, after this discovery, they will automatically form a network and ready for you to go cloud and do management. So that's how we do with our self-organizing network. Okay. And now, when we are waiting for the for the uh, for the self-organizing network pr process. I'm going to introduce a little bit more about our products. So this is our 2200E, the sailing AP. And it supports, uh, and it is it's a dual band and it supports 11 AC wave two. Also this one, okay, the wall AP is also a wave two. And, uh, uh, and also it, it can fit into a scenario such like a home and a hotel house. Okay, this is a wall AP. And this, uh, this ES200 is our cloud management switch. Okay, only, only four port, four LAN port and one for uplink. And also we got six models overall for this series. You've got all the way from PoE or non-PoE and the five, port, five ports to 20, 24 ports. Okay, so now this is the, um, the easy gateway. Okay, the easy gateway. So after introducing these ones, I'm going to demonstrate you our most cool, cool component under the rigid cloud, which is our rigid cloud app. And now I'm going to show you my screen, okay, with the rigid cloud app. Okay, so the setup process will be quite easy, will be uh, will be very easy. So uh, you, you can see here, okay. Not only the not only uh, for project, not only for production, but you can find all the products materials, solution materials here. Okay, better for you to do business. Not only installation, not only for engineers. And uh, to up, go online, this project is very simple. Simply go to the projects and create your first project. So you can either do with a scan QR code, or you can do with a connect Wi-Fi. So since we have this Wi-Fi environment here, I go with connect Wi-Fi. So several steps and one other network. So when these networks are already self-organized, there will be a default SSID pop up. Okay, so that's at Regia and uh, one, and uh, some something like that to tell you the ISO is done. Okay, so now it's time to connect. All right. So after I think I spoke uh, just three minutes and you can see the SSID is there, means mm. the, uh, the, the operation is, uh, the, the ISO is already done. Okay, so let's connect. Uh, so there, and now there might be some interruptions. So when doing the configuration, I will show you through my laptop camera, okay? Because the, okay. I will reconnect and sometimes Zoom, Zoom interrupts. Okay, so I will reconnect to that. So connect and oh, successful. Let's go back. Now uh, looking, if you are looking at the, the laptop camera, so you can clearly see it's doing the self-organizing confirmation. Means I have confirmed how many devices are already discovered within the, uh, within the, the, the network, okay? Mm, okay. So, so you, can, you can see, right? And now we can start to configure. And also, if we are talking about you got more devices coming and you can actually, you can do detect again, okay? You can do det detect again. Uh, so, because sometimes maybe there are new uh, new products. For example, this one, we are still waiting for the war AP to come, okay? So it's still rebooting. 
because we do have four devices, right? And now it's yes. only three devices. So just a minute, it will be auto discovered. All right. Okay. Okay. You mean okay. the different, you mean the different devices are rebooting, uh, restart time is different, right? Uh, yes, yes, yeah, okay. yes. And also it, it will automatically pop up uh, after we uh -huh. discover them, okay? So simply okay. name your project. For example, we go with a hotel and we go with hotel E and also the management uh, password for you to able to do the man uh, management on cloud. So that's your key. And also scenario configuration, choose hotel will provide more. So simply choose the one connection as you do in a, uh, home, in a uh, home Wi-Fi, home router. So single one, okay, here, if you can do dual one, all right? So next, all you have to do is next. And also, ah, here comes the automatic setting. Okay, automatic internet test, okay, is testing uh, upload speed and uh, confirming the, the downlink speed, okay? So after this one, you just got a basic, a primary network done, okay? With all these single steps. How mm -hmm. cool is that? You just, you just delivered a primary network. And let's see what we can do later, okay? What we can do later. So tell me, Jason, uh, according to your experience, if we are talking about configuration, log WLAN, about the internet, and also about the LAN, uh, how many hours you, it usually takes? I think we'll take a couple of hours because I need configuration the router, I need uh -huh. configuration the switches, and the Wi-Fi, SSID. So yeah, looks like your demo is pretty easy. Just connect to a single SSID with uh, uh, less than one minute you can have such, you know, uh, pass to this uh, speed testing stage. Yeah, yeah. And Surprising. What's more, yeah, what's more, because now, uh, previously, we are just using, uh, we, we were just using this uh, non-encrypted encrypted, uh, ISSID, right? Not encrypted. So at least we customize the ISSID and give them the minimum protection, all right? So sim also very simple, you just go to the wireless, on the same page and name the ISSID. For example, here we go with, oops, oh, oh sorry, I just- Internet uh, job. Uh, not internet job, uh, because I just uh, turned on the pen within the Zoom. Oh, okay. Okay, we go with Hotel E, right? And also we set a password, okay, which is one, two, eight, one, two, uh, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And also find your country. So maybe some of the countries, they enforce these regulations for the radio frequency. So you need to choose your uh, related country. Okay, so here, uh, for example, you are go with Malaysia, right? So different country, different frequency, different channels, and also different transmit power. So, okay, so basically that's done. Okay, After. one moment, please. For this radio country code, for example, I select Malaysia means the means uh, they will the access point will auto configuration turns the uh, radio frequency to follow back to this country requirements. Ah, uh, yes, of course. That's what that's what this function do. Okay, that's what country country code means. Okay, for example, if in Malaysia we're talking about maybe at one at uh, channel eleven, we only support three dBm maximum power. So that goes three three dBm. Sorry, thirty dBm maximum. If we are in another country, for example, Thailand, these their regulation says twenty seven maximum. So also we go with twenty seven. And uh, some of the countries even they have. Uh, forbidden channel, forbidden bands. For example, band two, band three, uh, from the five five G band. Okay, maybe they are banned from some countries. Okay, so now uh, we connect to this fresh uh, network, fresh that's SID uh, we just set. Okay, we go with this hotel E, and there will be additional interruptions. And uh, now it's time for enter the password. Okay, see, connected. 
and I'm I'm going back to the to the app. Okay, now you can see four devices, right? Four devices auto dis auto discover, and uh, now I'm going to show you my my screen again. Okay, uh, the Zoom auto con uh, reconnected. Okay, so here by these simple steps, I just finished a network. See what actually I, I've done. Okay, four devices and. Uh, Let's prove what I've done. Who is the simple re report? Okay, let's see what we go. And this, uh, we have to switch on the cloud mode to prove you that we give these orders through this cell phone, through app, to the cloud, and cloud goes back to the devices, to the network. Okay, so now I'm working in the cloud mode and go to toolkit, report, auto generated to tell you what exactly you have done to the network okay now it's generating uh, generating topology collecting device information and it's generating okay i have to try that again and uh, now it's time to go real cloud i'm going to connect to the office to prove you that i actually work in the cloud mode all right so let's give another try Okay, sorry. Whoops, for the for the I think my uh, yeah my zoom just stopped. Okay, so uh, uh, Jason, can, can you see my uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Now you go with the report. Okay, a dedicated report for this project, and you can see all the basic informations. All the basic information is there. All right. You got the home uh, the Wi-Fi settings. And also you got all the policy settings. Okay, so that's within the configuration part. And also you can see all the device within their models, their number quantities, and their descriptions. Okay, make sure that you deliver all the devices and then you can ask customer to pay you, right? To pay you back, to give you the money you deserve. And what we have done, okay? Devices are already here. And we have done all the configuration. And also we have do the, all the cabling. So for the cabling part, maybe sometimes it will be very difficult for you to, to tell which port is connected to which port of other devices, right? So now we have this one, okay? So if you, are, if you have trouble, you have to deal with which uh, tables you have to reconnect to which port. So you just refer to these uplink and downlink device uh, messages. And uh, it is very easy for you to export this report to your customer, all right? Mm -hmm. So you just share them, okay? Through WeChat, through, through WhatsApp, or through email. And- Can, we, can, can I edit this? Uh, yeah, reports? sure, of course. You can edit the, the front page. You can add it with your uh, company's logo. And also, you are welcome to do the title. You can leave your contact message. Everything you can you can do that. Okay, you can dis you can even display your team member. Okay, you say okay, Jason just deliver this project. Okay, very proud that your name will appear. All right. Yeah. For example, I just. Uh, Yeah, I got, I got Jason here, right? And save. I press save. Yeah, it's a regenerating. It's a regenerating, okay? So for this time, you will have your names here. See, the name and the job and the phone number to know if, suppose there will be future issue, customers know who to contact. And also customer remembers your name. They know which one to turn to when they have future business, right? Yes. <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bad luck, Jason just dropped. <laughs> sorry, sorry, John. Uh, sorry, my office network job. Give me... Oh minutes i'm okay 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 uh jason actually you do have to switch to our re products in future all right uh no my office is using rega but uh, my backbone has some issue my service provider is sucks 
Okay, I, I see that. Okay, take your time. Thank you uh, I, I I need to rejoin back. One minute, please. Okay, okay, don't worry. Mm. Okay, well, while you are doing the reconnection, so Jason, actually, you see, all the configurations are done and uh, just within a few steps. And I, me, myself, I'm not any kind of professionals. I'm just a sales guy, know barely nothing about network. And I delivered almost a full package of network. What do you think? Yeah, it's a great, uh, even saving time for, for me to prepare the your acceptance reports, such, like, uh, such as this kind of professional reports, very convenient. Yeah, yes. And tell you what, Jason, we just finished, we just finished the uh, on-site part, okay? You have done all the installation, you have completed all the configurations on-site, right? So next part yes. might be you have to go remotely, right? You still stay remotely. And uh, suppose if customer tells you, we have an issue with our network and uh, he, he or she is in another city. So what you do? Uh, he have to, no choice, have to traveling to customer site for the troubleshooting. Okay, okay. So actually now is, uh, uh, is uh, the, another part. So let me demonstrate you how we can help you from remotely. And before that, I'm going to invite you to manage this fresh network, okay? Fresh project, I just said. So two scenarios. So maybe you are expecting the help from our vendors, from our distributors, right? So you can just share this network, share this fresh network to us, okay? Share, share this one. And also actually, if your customers, maybe they are expecting to solve issues uh, from you, right? From uh, with you and you want to help. So the customer, the end user can directly share this network to you and you can do the remote troubleshooting, all right? So I'm going to give you the read and write uh, authority and the share to you through WeChat, all right? Okay. Okay, so uh, Jason, tell me, you have installed a uh, rigid cloud app, right? Yes, already. Okay, a a already re registered, right? Hello, Leo. Uh, Jason, can you, uh, yeah. You you have, you already uh, registered to be our user, right? Yes, already. Okay, okay, nice. Now it's time for you to uh, copy my message I just sent you, and turn on the Rig uh, Cloud app. So before that, uh, Jason, could you please uh, share your cell phone screen through Zoom? Okay, can oh, please allow you. me to share. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So next, I'm going to guide you through these uh, these features, and I'm going to stop my screen sharing. Okay. Okay, guys, can you see my screen? Messy. Oh, yes, yes, very clear. Very messy. Okay. So now I'm going to copy John's message. Yes. Okay. I'm copied. And uh, I'm going to open my rigid cloud now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, shows. Uh, okay, okay, you can just uh, wow. yeah press that mark. Okay, you just press. Okay. okay. Ah, now, uh, Jason, uh, listen to me. You go to the project uh, on the bottom for pro project okay. and go to shared project besides mine. Okay. Ah, hotel E, right? There it yes. is. And uh, you can click that and enter uh, by cloud mode. Now you can do operations and you can do maintenance remotely. Okay. And tell me, Jason, what is the most troubling part uh, of network? Uh, which part always got complaints from customers? Uh, sometimes Wi-Fi, sometimes uh, sometimes uh, uh, switch. 
Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And also right. sometimes I have some uh, integration, uh, some system integration with the CCTV solution, mm -hmm. some door access. Yeah, mm -hmm. there always have some issue I need to. Hello, Jason. Hello, Jason. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay. So, so yeah, yeah. So actually, a lot of issues goes with Wi-Fi, right? A lot of yes. Wi-Fi issues. So sometimes they say the speed was very slow, no signal. Okay, a lot of issues with with Wi-Fi. And one of our resellers before using other brands, they always have to travel on site. Okay, it's five to six times per week on site work, and every time at least three hours. Uh, time and uh, travel expense, right? Takes money, takes time. And after using our rigid cloud and our products, so they now only travels two or three times on site every week, reduced by half. Okay, and every time they go on site, their efficiency uh, a lot increased. Okay, a lot, a uh, lot efficient. So what they do, they just use the, these features. So uh, Jason, you can press the toolkit. You can, uh, yeah, at the bottom and you can see optimize and also diagnose. So that's a trick. The, 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 these are the trick, the trick features, okay? Which help them a lot. So you can put, uh, you can tap this optimize to see what this optimize is doing, right? So, so you cannot see, the cloud and our devices will check your radio frequency setting, your transmit settings automatically. Suppose if we got channel interference, if we got some transmission power uh, incorrect, so we can modify that automatically. So now it's within our demo units and our uh, default settings already separate all the channels and set the uh, correct transmit power. So no interference, right? So yeah. every time before they go, they just press this button to optimize. And sometimes actually help them to solve issue. And also if you, you can, if you go back to the last page and let me, let me show you another thing. So sometimes uh, serious, serious trouble, not only Wi-Fi. you mentioned maybe, that, maybe with a switch, maybe with a CTV, a lot of things, right? Now you can try diagnose. Yeah, you just press this button. And uh, usually it takes no more, no more than two minutes because we only have four devices here, okay? So now it's running an in-depth analysis and diagnose to confirm all the way from your, your connected devices to your APs, to your gateways, then to the internet. So these are the, 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 the most important four layers within a network. And also it's checking all the popular configurations that can go wrong, okay? So for example, it's checking the LAN cable, negotiation speed and IP conflict, and also DHCP server conflict. And also it's, make, it's making sure of client experience. And uh, at last, it will check the internet connection, okay? So tell me, mm -hmm. Jason, if we are running such an in-depth anal analysis by manpower, usually how long it takes? Uh, you have any idea? Normally, yeah, it take, uh, I think about a half day. You know? Okay, so now it's done. Okay, within two minutes, and you can see the result. Everything, every popular settings are, uh, every popular setting is uh, in that chat automatically. All right, so if anything went wrong, this app will tell you. Okay, this diagnose will tell you. Okay, so you just mentioned the CCTV network, right? Yep. And what do you what 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 switch you use for the CCTV network? You are. I just use I just use no more unmanaged switch plug and play okay. the peace of mind. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. So if please you can go back to the to the last page and see our switch. We have this one to help you to keep your network keep your network away from a potential threat. Okay, you can hit the ES205GC-P in the topology and enter the uh, enter the page. Yeah, it says uh, switch. Yeah, and you can check the message. So now you can see all the messages here. And with this 
uh, notice, you can you can see that we have a dedicated loop prevention. Ah, okay. So if please you can roll roll down to the to the setting. So let me check the setting. Okay. So to demonstrate you the harm that a loop can do to a network. So I will do a demonstration. But before that, you can uh, turn off this loop prevention for me. Okay, disable. Okay, from remote. Now I'm going to demonstrate you with my cell phone. So, uh, if possible, uh, you can you can stop your uh, screen sharing for now, and I will show you what it will do. All right. So I will focus, and uh, let's see. We got an extra cable here. So actually, to create this loop is very simple, but it will do a, a very very harmful things to your network. And now see. Simply connecting two ends of the same cable to a same switch, and then let's see what it does. Sorry, maybe uh, some con connection. Uh, I have to uh, switch the port. No, you see, uh, although the zoom is not that clear, but you can see all the, all the actually they are blinking sharply, okay? They are blinking sharply. And uh, let me try with my cell phone. So now actually a loop happened. And also I will, uh, I will try to lock on my zoom and uh, I will show you with my, uh, with, my, uh, with my screen, okay? With my laptop uh, to, to check the, the effect okay so now let's try go back to the to the hotel e okay let's connect obtaining ip address all the way all the time it cannot log on okay so even for the connected devices it cannot log on internet okay so now that's what a loop can do if we are talking about cctv network well all the cameras will be down all right so that's what what a loop can do. And uh, now we this, we just get rid of the loop by disconnect the disconnected, and uh, now it's back. So you see, I'm I'm already connected to this hotel E, right? Already connected so you, you because just, I just you just unplug the cable. Yeah, because I I just break the loop. Okay, I just broke the loop. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to show you again, right? So this time I'm going to uh, demonstrate you with video uh, through Zoom. And also I am connecting to this hotel E, okay? So Jason, if possible, you can still go to that page of your uh, Rigid Cloud app. And uh, okay. you can, yeah, you, you can find a loop prevention. Yeah, the same yes. loop prevention. So if possible, Jason, you can you can uh, share your screen again. Um. One moment, please. Okay, this is yeah. you're talking about, right? Look, provisioning, I'm uh, enabled already. Okay, already enabled, right? Yes. Uh, you just press that button, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to demonstrate you again. Okay, so let's re-simulate. Let's simulate that loop failure again, all right? So what I will do, okay. So if possible, you can also quit your screen sharing. All right, so I will demonstrate you with a live video. Okay, now you can see it's the same switch. It's the same table, right? And we will build the same loop. Let's see what happens. Now you can see, right? Yeah, I can see. Yeah, actually, one of the, uh, sorry, I have to, yeah, I have to set my video to be the focus. Okay, actually, you can see one of the ports, it's, uh, it's indicator is blinking, not that sharply. And also, I'm already connected to this network and the Zoom video is still okay, means no loop actually happened. And I think time now for you to go uh, back to your screen sharing. 
and see what we can help. Because usually, if we want to solve this issue, uh, uh, we if we want to solve the issue, uh, finally we have to go find that port, right? We have to go find that port and unplug that cable. So that's our yep. final solution. So now you can see from port, you can see a uh, port. Ah, port three, you can see a loop, right? It says, uh, clearly said a loop. So now wow. with this one, uh, you can tell a housekeeper or even a janitor on site to unplug that cable for you, okay? Because you have the dedicated switch and you know the dedicated port. So as long as he or she can recognize this number and he can do this operation for you, okay? Just simply disconnect the cable from port three and break the loop and the refresh you, you can refresh again and to see what happens next now the loop is gone right yeah okay yeah just like i just just demonstrated it just prevent it just prevented you from a disaster okay a disaster mm. cool right Cool. Yes. Nice. Okay. Okay. I'm going going to demonstrate you more. Sometimes it's a loop, and sometimes for the CCTV network, it will be one single CCTV camera failure. And tell me what you usually do when people tell when the customer tell you, okay, I got an, a camera done. Restart the camera. And how how are you going to do that? On site. Send my technical on site. Oh, come on. Actually, actually, we met such troubles a lot. And usually our installers have to send their engineers to on site and only for one operation, the plug and unplug. So now, Jason, you can do that remote. You can do that remotely. And you mm -hmm. can see under each port, okay, besides the speed and besides the power. So there will be a reboot option for you. Okay, so now because we see this suitcase, I have no PoE camera, but we do have uh, PoE devices, which is this one and this one. So now I'm going to dem I'm go going to uh, ask you to do this demonstration, and I'm going to verify that with this uh, PoE device because we are doing the remote reboot to IP camera using the PoE down and PoE up of that port. Okay, so uh, let's see port four. How about that? You re you remote reboot the port four. That's connecting to this wall AP. Yeah, the port four. You can you can uh, you can hit reboot. Uh, Hello, Jason? can you hear yeah. me talk? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you can. Uh, I I say. I said, uh, port four, can you hit that reboot? Uh, hello, Jason? Hello, Jason? Hello? Hello, Jason. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's better. Yeah. Okay. What are you What are you asking just now? Yeah. Uh, remote reboot. And uh, suppose we go port four, right? It's connected to this wall AP, and I'm going to demonstrate you how it can be remote reboot. Okay. Okay. You just click that re reboot button. And are you sure? Yeah, you are sure. Now look. Look at my look at my uh, my video sharing. Okay, uh -huh. you see the port four, power off, then on, and you can see with the indicator blinking sharply, the AP is rebooting now. Okay, so now you just finished a remote reboot. Cool, right? Yeah, very easy. Yeah. Okay, so no need for your guys to travel on site for a simple unplug and plug operation anymore. All right. Okay. Yeah, okay, so boss Jason, I just uh, finished the simple uh, feature demonstration and uh, let you experience some of our uh, cool features. 
So now I'm going to share my screen again to you. And uh, I'm going to tell you the, the next uh, a few messages. So actually, uh, what's behind this one is our rigid cloud, okay? So it is a very unique cloud dedicated for SMB business. So it has ultimate uh, unlimited uh, capacity and we provide a lot of enterprise great features, uh, security management, and we help you installers and ISI to do easy maintenance. At the same time, we guarantee your availability with 99.99%. Okay, and also we are providing you the security for your data and uh, the privacy for your customer information because we are doing the global business and uh, we are strictly following the rules uh, by uh, such as uh, GDPR from Europe, U European Union, something like that. Okay, so now our cloud is serving 3 million networking devices, 3 million devices uh, such as AP, uh, as uh, switches, they are already on our cloud. And we got 550,000 users, okay? Most of them, they are ISI and the installers covering the whole world, okay? And what's more, this cloud is totally free, okay? It's totally free. Also, we got all the switches, we got all the AP and the router and also the home routers here. So no matter you are dealing with a factory, you are dealing with a small office, hotel, or even Vela, so we can do that. Okay, you can have multiple options and all of them are cloud managed. And for the switch, it got a three to five year warranty and the, the cool features you just experienced and we can build up network all the way from the access layer to the core layer because we do have the 10 gig, 10 gig ones here, okay? For APs, not only the Wi-Fi 5, but soon we will have a Wi-Fi 6 APs, no matter you're talking about sitting uh, wall or we are talking about outdoor, you will have the option. And also the easy gateway, it works for the scenario like 100 to 200 concurrent user, and also it provides a lot of cool uh, features. And one of them is scenario-based configuration. So if you want to see that, you can come to our future workshops. And uh, also I think Leo will let you experience the whole feature, okay? Through the workshop. For home, also we have this home Wi-Fi, okay? You can even send your customers as gifts. <laughs> And so how, uh, speaking about the scenario, we do have these uh, scenario-based solutions with three products and features. So we are talking about CCTV, you just mentioned, right? And also small office and the retail and the branch network. And also we have hotel. Also we have a home Wi-Fi solution, okay? So Jason, if you got projects that we, we can work with, we do have these solutions easier for you to win projects and max, maximize your ma maximize your margin, all right? And also, just now I mentioned, you will have the full package uh, of experience, including features, including more uh, product models at our workshop. And what's more, you got these scenario-based solutions there, okay? CCTV ones, uh, SMB ones, so you will have, you, you can experience that. And most exciting part will be, there will be, hands-on, okay? You can do all the hands-on. You meet the products and you do hands-on and live promotion at amazing price, okay? Live promotion. You can even purchase on-site, all right? So maybe you are not quite familiar with RayJ yet, but you can follow us on the Facebook page. We got a lot of news, including products, company, or successful stories. You can check that. And at the same time, our customers, they are telling their stories in our region partner group on Facebook. So welcome to the group. And you can see the real photos, uh, real experience from our customers, all right? So uh, at the end, okay, I want to thank you for this opportunity. Let me walk you through our features and uh, hope you can join our workshops later. And uh, also after this one, uh, you fill in some uh, contact messages. So let me know where I can, con how I can contact you uh, in future because a lot of material I want to send you. So why not 
check out your cell phone and do a checking with our Radio Cloud app. Okay. Okay, more questions. I think we can talk later, okay? Okay, and, John, thank you. And thank you for your time, Jason. Sure, thank you. Amazing solution. Thank you.